Hey guys, my name is Leo. Uh, this is my first show. Uh, it's called The Rant Ants. You can call me. You can call me Leo or The Rant Ant or Anime Ant Boy. I don't really care that much. Uh, I like to watch anime and play video games. You know, your usual high school student. <laughs> And uh, today, I want to be talking about the PS5 and Sony and how both are not doing so well. Yeah. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, Sony's PlayStation 5 has been selling out real fast ever since its launch. I mean, I haven't really been to the, to the section where they... S in any store where they sell PlayStation's Five, but 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 I've been but I've been reading news articles that say that Sony's play that the consoles have been selling out like really fast. Heck, I've I've even seen some people uh, sell them for a way higher price than their usual retail price. That just goes to show how much. High demand these things are. Man, I I think that's that's insane. And also, so Sony has changed the their studio headquarters from Japan to California of all places. <laughs> Cause why not? There's big there's big budget companies there. So yeah, man, I don't think it's a good idea. I'm. I'm just going to say it's not a good idea at all. As a result of this, it's it's been the PlayStation 5 has been failing in Japan. You know, its sales are down, like really down. I'll tell you that. And part of the reason why it's failing because well, Sony doesn't care about Japanese media. I mean, take for instance, the if you if you look at a few games, you know that have that are anime inspired or have an anime aesthetic, uh, you you can. There's no doubt that Sony will try to will try to censor it, and then that'll just deter many Japanese audiences from there. I just, I don't think there's a bright future for Sony here, from here on out. I don't know. Well, if you guys like this show, if you guys want to see more, I'd suggest subscribing. And until then, have a nice day. I hope.